And just to say, we will finish by a fireside chat with the first man founders at the end of the day. Hello, Nicolas. How are you? Hello, Mehdi. How are you? Hello, everyone. Yeah, doing really great. I invite you to share your screen so we can start on time. Yes, I am right now. Yes, and glad to have you at API Days and hear the BNP Paribas story. Thank you. Thank you. So hello, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation and the opportunity to share some of our work um, within BNP Paribas. I'm Nicolas Gualave, platform op Open Platform Lead at IFS Strategic Initiative, a transversal team across the group tackling strategic and common subjects for BNP Paribas. I work especially on two subjects, platform model and API. My job is to find and help in building new opportunities for BNP Paribas in platform and API business. Today, our main topic is how to accelerate platform business thanks to API technology, and we will focus on the opportunity called embedded finance. To cover this topic, um, uh, three main parts. Uh, first, a little bit of context of who we are. Second, uh, we see as op uh, what opportunity we see as, uh, as a platform business and how uh, API technology drive and leads uh, as enablers. And then uh, where we are within BNP Paribas and what are our first initiative on this next generation digital transformation journey. So who we are. BNP Paribas is an international group. Um, we have um, more than 200,000 employees, um, which are in more than 70 countries. We are making more than uh, 40 billion in revenue per year. And our range of activity are B2C and B2B. And the list here is not exhaustive. Uh, we have a role in uh, activity, sorry, in retail banking, leasing, insurance, personal loans, wealth management, asset management, etc. And we are serving our customers for more than a hundred years. So this is giving us a lot of strengths and expertise in finance, but also when zooming into digital transformation, a lot of challenge to tackle. And digital transformation is accelerating everywhere. As you may know, platforms are, are becoming the norm to do business. Every industry is hit by platform model, from car manufacturer to merchant to retailers, and now the financial industry. From the valuation perspective, platform company are the top valued company. GAFA, Alibaba, Uber are paving the way, and the same trend is hitting financial industry. The raise of platform are led by customers' expectation. They expect seamless end-to-end -end embedded experience. They want to uh, interact with a lot of services on the same platform. They expect a mobile first experience and a real-time and personalized customer journey. All platforms are mastering APIs to do so to perform in connecting multiple players in a single and embedded customer journey. And it's key for us, BNP Paribas, to enter in this platform economy. What opportunity can we, can we see now as BNP Paribas to better serve our customers leveraging these new platform models? We have two, um, we have two spots. And this is what we have called open innovation for years. And now we want to push one step further into an industrialized partnership and collaboration to bring new value quicker to customer. We have two main way, two main way to bring new value in those open models as a service and as a platform. The first is embedded finance, BNP Paribas as a service, or you can say insurance as a service, uh, retail banking as a service, finance as a service, we want to better distribute and integrate our financial service into third-party customer journey. For example, integrate a payment account in the Telepass platform. We can expect to get new customer. The second 
is becoming a platform. We can expect to get new customers um, is becoming a platform. The move here is to provide a full digital experience embedding third-party service to improve our value proposition. The benefit here is to keep the customer relationship with more stickiness in our own digital channel by, distribu by distributing internal, part internal products and partners' products combined. But what is the role of the API? For us, just a little bit of, this, of definition within BNP Paribas, an API is a B2B business product connecting services or application to interact, exchange data, or ex execute services. An API for us is a, so a business product that has a price and a business model. And this API product's customers are developers. So what are their role into the platform business? For more than three years, we are working on API topic with business line ITM functions. And for platform business, it's important to consider that exposing API is as important as consuming APIs. To gain time to, mark, to market and build new value proposition quicker and the best in class, with the best in class technology, we need to use and reuse what is existing within the group and leverage also our partner's expertise for what? For bringing to life a new ecosystem of service for our customers. API technology improve our efficiency into building new platform strategies to become more agile, time to market and customer centric. On the finance as a service pillar, when it's involved in certain financial services into third parties journey, selling API and, and uh, uh, selling standardized product is key here. On finance as a platform, when we can quickly enrich our digital offer from third-party products, the challenge here is to create an ecosystem of services and trustful partnership around BNP Paribas expertise to better serve our customers and to better enrich our customer's journey. API technology make it possible to quickly integrate this solution into our customer's journey and our platform use case. Now I will jump in some, uh, in some of our in, in initiative in embedded finance. Allegro is the first marketplace in Poland. It's like the Amazon of, uh, uh, of Polish market, e-commerce market. And uh, Allegro is a fully digital player expecting to partner only with API technology. BNP Paribas Polska, our Polish brands, personal finance, create a fully in, uh, integrated personal loan API service embedded in Allegro customer journey. And this is super easy to use for customer and super easy to integrate for, um, uh, for Allegro developers. It is called embedded finance because the customer goal is to buy a TV or any product in Allegro marketplace. And we are providing financial service to help the customer to do so. The benefits of API here for the partner is a uh, is simple and full digital customer journey with best in class service level agreement and short of uh, and short time of integration. But there are still some challenge. Uh, back in 2019, this API product was custom made for this customer, and now we want to. Uh, build an open API product, and we want to distribute the API customer loan services to other partners. But that raised some challenge also in doing so about competitiveness, competitiveness for example. Uh, we have some experience also in building open API and open distributed products. I would like to share two or three initiatives today that are most, mostly about payments. The first initiative is called Accepta, and this solution um, is, for, um, is a payment solution for merchants, retailers, small and big, big businesses, or even doctors or, lay, or, or lawyers. Accepta is omnichannel and allows payment management via smartphone, email, and uh, in a website integrated to an e-commerce platform, for example, in a, in a real world, or monitoring 
and it all allows also monitoring of your activities in real time. Accepta also uh, allows to convert dynamically currency to pay in euro, suitable for multiple accounts, and makes it possible to tips. Accepta offer is, a, is, avail, is available for business in more than five countries that are selling in 21 European countries. We are a partnership to expand the offer to other countries. The second initiative I would like to share in OpenAPI Embedded Finance is Easy Collect Services. It's another way to pay and transfer money from one company to another, mandate an e-signature of SEPA Direct Debit. We are providing a fri frictionless journey using a one-time password to secure the transfer. SEPA Direct Debit technology has been developed to allow easy transfer of customers of banks in the SEPA zone, which is the most of the European countries. Um, it is possible uh, with the Easy Collect services to manage your mandate and your transaction super easily. And thanks to APIs, it's easy to integrate this solution into um, uh, a, back, uh, a back office of uh, any uh, digital company. Eventually, the third initiative we released earlier this year the third um, initiative we released earlier this year is a payment, is an instant payment services. It is called instant payment for corporates available in four countries and expanding. This service has three APIs. The first one is to confirm the beneficiary reachability for instant payments because we have to confirm this. The second is to initiate a SEPA instant credit transfer and the, to credit the beneficiary in less than 10 seconds. So it's quasi instant payment. And, and the third API is, is to retrieve the payment execution status as from 50 seconds after payment initiation. Can, um, you can see every of these services of being Paribas service in our API platform that is called API Store. We have a federated model, including all business line of the group to distribute and promote and market API services in a standardized and business way. These assets has been done, has been um, uh, created to value BNP Paribas digital assets, not only internally, but also externally to build new kind of relationship with our partners. Create, it's also uh, uh, now a new, um, it's also creating now a new op business opportunity for BNP Paribas to reach new ecosystem. And we are, uh, we are contacted every day for new pa partnership using our new products. And um, the APIs that we provide in the API store shorten the digital application time to deliver any application from our partners to get their solution time to market. And um, the API program is not only benefiting external and uh, it's a business uh, oriented um, strategy, but it's also benefiting IT and cross business and, and, and building new opportunities for bundling our product together to, to deliver new kind of product for our partners. Thank you. If you have any question, feel free to ask. I'll stop sharing my screen.
Yeah, thank you very much, uh, uh, Nicola, for such a, all these examples. Yeah, you can share your screen and we can have a discussion for uh, uh, of, of four or five minutes. So it seems there are many, many use cases, right? And that a lot of APIs that you present are use case driven, uh, right? At some point, when do you think a company from the size of BNP has to do APIs not knowing at some point if there will be use cases at the end? It's pretty interesting because we have, uh, your question is super interesting uh, um, uh, because we have a lot of opportunity for BNP Paribas to deliver new kind of product now. Uh, for example, in the insurance field, in personal loans, uh, to integrate our services differently. So we see API technology as a new distribution channel for our existing services. And um, our digital, I would say, our digital transformation is a long journey. So we need to pre prioritize the assets that um, needs to be built in with the API technology. And this is super use case driven. Well, we believe that it should be use case driven because everything um, could not be a, um, a one year transformation. Yeah, yeah, I'm asking that because, you know, uh, at some point we've seen in many groups that it's use case driven, but at some point they want to anticipate the use case. So they begin to produce APIs, right, to directly serve service and, and you know, have things sort of DPT. But again, it takes time and it's a lot of maturity. And, and, and yes, uh, also when talking about all the countries that you cover, right, because you talk about uh, different countries here, Poland and other, right, how does regulation impact the production of APIs? Um, in, in your first question, I will uh, just add one thing, um, that we have a, a two-sided way to build APIs. Um, we listen to our partners' needs in order to build specific and, and, and more open standardized uh, services for them. But we also um, analyze trends of the market and, uh, and truly invest in what uh, we believe that our partners will need in the future. So um, it's a two-sided, uh, I would say, way to build new kind of products for, for, for tomorrow. And concerning uh, about um, the country and the regulation impact, um, the, fir the first one is that um, uh, in a central position like, like mine, I would say uh, we, um, we have to leverage from expertise from the each country and each, um, I will say, um, uh, API expertise locally. Uh, some of the country, uh, like Poland, is super advanced and their customers expect their services to be distributing, distributed through APIs. But in some other countries, the maturity uh, of uh, our partners is, uh, is less advanced. So um, we should adapt the way and the pace of our transformation, um, considering the fact that uh, it's also an ecosystem that is transforming and we should respect every uh, the pace of their ecosystem and their needs. And when we, uh, how we see regulation impacting this, um, this uh, for, 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 for the past years, um, regulation has been, um, I would say, have, have forced every bank to build new kind of API services. And now it's, it's the time where I, I think uh, every financial company should consider into uh, going one step or two step further regulation and you build their own uh, services um, that go beyond regulation. Yeah, we have a question from uh, Julien who's asked, for a large company, can we predict a real business or a good forecast with the monetization of APIs? Uh, I, I couldn't hear, actually. Sorry. No. Uh, Julien is asking, uh, for a large company, can we predict a real business 
slash good podcast with the, with the monetization of API? Actually, it's a, it's a super good question also. Um, there are, there are uh, three or four ways to monetize an API. And we have seen and we have analyzed also the GAFAs and most of API-driven business is, um, has to build a, like a, a developer community experience. And in order to build this first developer community, most of the APIs, firstly, are, are freemium. And then the more they are used, they are exploring some new type of monetization, like per per use or, or um, per per usage. The, 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 the more you call the API, the more you, uh, the, the more you pay or a decreased monetization uh, model, like uh, the more you call, uh, it reduces the cost, or you have silver package, premium package of your API. Uh, concerning banking industry, um, I think we have a lot of experience into monetization our services, uh, but uh, the, the new thing here is API technology for us and how to distribute and how to perform in into monetization of our API technology. Uh, and the, the, our um, uh, business model work with our services. So if we uh, integrate uh, a, ser a service, uh, for example, a personal loan into uh, uh, a customer journey, we know how to monetize personal loan. And for now, uh, in, some, in, in most of the use case, we don't, um, want to uh, uh, build um, a new, uh, I would say, uh, monetization process uh, focusing on API consumption. Uh, so uh, it could be maybe a, a small fees of integration, but um, it's really uh, uh, we for now in BNP Paribas, uh, and uh, we will be exploring new monetization model in, 20, in 2021, but this is not the first subject for us to tackle because uh, our the way we finance our uh, i would say underlying services uh, are, are are super clear for our partners to, and uh, uh, we are just for now exploring the uh, new distribution and, and and marketing models last question from jeremy if you're in one minute uh do you manage to expand local apis to become then globally available across uh, countries and what kind of standardization do you put in place to achieve that so do you have a local API approach and then you expand or no, it's uh, it's just stay local? Yeah, uh, actually we have um, a, a super federated approach. So we believe that every API should be uh, as uh, I would say, should be built for a specific use case and for a specific partners. And, uh, but at some stage, um, if we have the same servicing appearing with uh, on more and more countries, we need to standardize and build uh, and, and, and build a, a dedicated project in order to aggregate all the service or bundle APIs. And we do also this by opportunity. If we have, uh, I would say, a, a global partners that is looking for one services in multiple country, uh, we can make, build a specific project for them and deliver this new kind of uh, assets, digital assets. And after this kind of opportunistic project, we will, we, we will be looking at how to uh, build from this uh, partner solution, a more global and, and open API. Yeah, thank you for these uh, clear answers. Uh, we reach our time with us uh, together today. Thank you very much, Nicolas, and glad